Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Serengeti and Tao sunglasses. But first, I'll link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 55 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge. And this is going to be a, basically a great standard size that's going to fit most people's face at best. They do not make a smaller or a larger lens size of these frames. You're going to be stuck with this 55 millimeter lens size. However, they do have these really nice spring hinges, which are going to bend out and give a custom fit to the face. As you can see, it's going to bend out to somebody's face much, much bigger than mine. But on my face, it really just kind of hugs uh, behind the ears really good, so they don't feel like they're going to fall off very easily, and they feel very comfortable. As far as weight goes, these frames come in at 33 grams, which is pretty lightweight, considering the fact they do have have Serengeti's mineral uh, glass lenses, and glass lenses are always going to be heavier than, you know, polymer lenses, of course. And these, of course, like I said, are mineral lenses, so they're actually going to darken from a category three to a category three, so not a huge uh, difference there, but they're definitely going to get darker uh, when you walk outside in the harsh uh, UV sunlight. When you're indoors or behind the wheel of a car, these lenses absorb 79% of the sunlight coming in, and then they're actually going to darken all the way to 92% if you're in harsh uh, direct sunlight, which is really, really cool. Now the exact colorway of these frames are Serengeti's matte black frames, and then the lenses are their mineral polarized uh, 555 NM category three to category three lens, which is basically one of their standard lenses. Everything looking through these lenses is going to be really nice and pretty. They do have a neutral base to them as well, but they're also going to be polarized so they're going to block 99% of glare, which is really nice as well. If you're boating or if you're in a situation where you want to uh, block the maximum amount of glare. Now these frames have a base curve of six. So they're going to slightly wrap around the face, but nothing too crazy that's going to kind of uh, mess up the styling here. Uh, so as far as coverage goes, we can see there's a definitely a pretty big gap that's sunlight like unprotected. Then here on the sides, I would say, again, there's a decent to average size gap as well. So, you know, you're not going to have the best coverage from sun with this pair of frames, but definitely nothing too bad either. Very similar to something like a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Now, if we take a look at the top right corner of the lens, we can see they do say Serengeti on them. And then moving down to the outside temples, again, we can see some Serengeti logos, but they are kind of like matte black and they blend with the frame. So they're definitely not too loud or anything like that, which I really do like. Now, as far as overall build quality of these frames go, they do feel really nice. My biggest complaint about these is is probably the fact that they don't have rubberized nose pads here. Uh, so your nose is just going to make contact with the actual frame and they feel very comfortable on the face because of that. They're just not gonna be quite as uh, uh, practical as far as them sticking on the face as uh, something with a rubberized nose pad would. Uh, but they are still, like I said, very comfortable. And the boot quality here is really good other than the uh, hinges squeaking just a little bit. But that might go away once you wear the break them in uh, just a little bit, but um, definitely a little bit annoying to have a little bit of a squeak there. And it's not squeaking from the lens, which is always nice. It's just squeaking from the actual uh, spring hinge. And from what I can see here as well, one spring hinge wants to spring out a little bit more than the other, uh, which is again, just a little bit annoying. But again, this is a pair of uh, budget frames from Serengeti. They only come in at $230, which is a really good price. And we do have these available on our website as well. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to Serengeti's website and our website as well, if you are interested in picking a pair of these frames for yourself. But these frames are made in Italy, which is really nice to see that they're still making their frames in Italy. And uh, overall, the quality is really good. And I do like these as far as the looks go. I think they look really nice and classy. Definitely nothing too loud or crazy. And this is just overall a very good pair of frames from Serengeti. I don't think you can really go wrong with the pair, especially for the price. Well, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Uh, do you like these? Do you own a pair or do you hate them? Uh, again, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer to all the uh, comments that I get there. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.